City Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Thank you for joining us from the David S. Mack Sports Complex in Hofstra for this CHSAA State Tournament Qualifying Game. Our Lady of Mercy is 19-5 on the season and led by one of the best players in New York State in Megan Anderson. Trying to stop her are the Sacred Heart Mustangs 14-7 with a balanced attack. They try to keep their season alive right now on the Varsity Media Sports Network. I'm Gavin Shaw. This game has major state tournament implications in that if you lose, you're not going there. And it's brought to you by Catholic Health. So the loser of this game will see their season end. The winner will still have a chance to move on to state tournament play as they'll play the loser of our next game, the uh, St. Anthony's Friars, who are going to be doing battle with the St. Mary's, or excuse me, yeah, with St. Mary's. And I'm Gavin Shaw here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And for Sacred Heart, they don't quite have a Megan Anderson, but what they do have is an Annie Kiernan who has had an incredible senior season, averaging 16 points, 8.5 rebounds a game, and is coming off a 20-point performance against St. Mary's, one of her best outings of the entire season. She shoots over 70% on free throws and plays a really essential role in her ability to pull an opposing big outside of the paint and create space for the Mustangs' excellent uh, group of guards. And then for Our Lady of Mercy, one of the best players in New York State, it's Megan Anderson. The senior forward averages 25 points, 13 rebounds, and shoots 44% from distance of Fairfield commit. She was called by Sacred Heart coaches. I thought this was a heck of a quote. The Larry Bird of girls basketball. I assume he, he had that limited to Long Island girls basketball, but it's a heck of a compliment and gives you an idea of the kind of player Anderson in. Randy, Randy Todd noted that, look, she's going to be triple teamed all game. She's going to be bruised. She's going to be battered, but she will keep on coming back with a smile. For Sacred Heart, their starting lineup is all about balance this year. It's not necessarily one girl dominating the basketball. They don't play particularly up-tempo. They rely on their teamwork and their shooting to find success. And it all starts with Haley Elwood at the point guard position, uh, who averages 10 points and 5 assists per game. Mary-Kate Sussman, a talented shooter and outside presence and a really good defender, tracking opposing shooters. Emma Frone, one of the keys to today's game with her ability to do a little bit of everything. Drives to the basket, a good offensive rebound an excellent overall athlete. Lauren Marquand, the captain, a tough rebounder, averages eight boards a game, and then we already told you about how good Annie Kiernan is. And then for the two seed, Our Lady of Mercy. You know all about Megan Anderson, but she certainly has a whole lot of help, and it all starts with Corinne Kasatley at the point guard spot, who does a great job in distribution. Brooke Vetter, a little bit of everything, can shoot, can drive, sort of a Swiss Army knife. Great hustler, Emma Kelly, a guard who 
has to play forward for this team. Plays very, very physical despite not being the tallest. Emma Murphy, one of the best shooters in the Catholic League. 60 plus threes this season. And of course, Megan Anderson, as we're about to get underway here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, will step aside for the moment. But when we return, we'll get you ready for tip-off. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. And a look at the St. Mary Mustangs bench led by Bob Steck, who spent 20 plus years as an assistant coach for the Mustangs program and is in just his second season coaching the team and has Sacred Heart at, at a level they haven't been in quite some time. They last won a Class A or a A title all the way back in 1996. But as we told you, this is an extremely talented, well-balanced group as we'll step aside for the national anthem. And when we return, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit more about the coach on the other side of things at Our Lady of Mercy. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. And thank you for joining us back here on the campus of Hofstra, David S. Mack Sports Complex. We got a chance to tell you a little bit about Bob Steck. Leading Our Lady of Mercy is Randy Todd in his seventh season on the job. And it's a pretty unique story. He ended up missing their semifinal game. You think of players missing games. You don't really think of coaches missing games, but was dealing with a pretty vicious stomach flu, feeling much better now. And Our Lady of Mercy, the two seed, was, was upset by the three seed, St. Anthony's. But uh, it's sort of the, the beauty of the, of the system here on the Catholic side of things. You can, you can lose in that semifinal game and still make your way back into state classification. And Our Lady of Mercy probably anticipating another shot at St. Anthony's if they can win this game given that St. Mary's is a heavy, heavy favorite in that one. There's a 56 to 48 loss in St. Anthony's did just enough to hold Megan Anderson in check. She finished with 21. Emma Kelly had 11. Corinne Kasatli had eight points, but just not a lot of help. Only, only eight other points scored amongst the rest of the roster. So Our Lady of Mercy going to be looking for more balance and Talking to Randy Todd, he said, you know, there were just, just a few too many lapses defensively, and he feels like that's an area the Mustangs have gotten 
much, much better in throughout the season. But for whatever reason, the last few weeks, they've fallen off a little bit in that capacity. A 19-5 and five record on the year for Our Lady of Mercy. They lost twice to St. Mary's. They lost once to Sacred Heart in the second matchup between these two teams. But in that game, they only played their starters for the first eight minutes of the ballgame. So even Bob Steck for the Mustang side of things said, you know, we, we don't really count that one. We're, we, we think we're much improved from the first game, which was a 56-41 to 41 win for Our Lady of Mercy. But we're not going to find out quite how much we improved until we tip it off and get going, which we are about to do. It is Our Lady of Mercy in the white and baby blue Carolina colors. And then the red, gold, and white for the Sacred Heart Mustangs. And we are underway on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Our officials today, Carl Small, Brian Jones, and Brendan Byers-Dorker. And a little too much heat on that pass from Haley Elwood as she was looking for Emma Frone underneath the basket. And now we'll get our first look at Megan Anderson and the Mustangs attack. Vetter brings it up the court. Anderson extremely unselfish, but she's going to have to play very aggressively today. She's guarded by Emma Frone. Murphy thinking about the three, going hard to the rim. Well contested by Marquad, the senior center, getting a piece of that basketball. Elwood, quick attack. Leaves it off. Time and space for Frone, who cashes in the first two points of this ball game. Junior forward, Adam Malvern. You could hear Bob Steck from the Mustangs bench saying, keep an eye on number 24. Annie Kiernan thinking about the college range three. Pump and go, tough look. Rattles in for Frone, her third and fourth points. Remember Bob Steck talking to him last night. He said the key to this game is how Emma Frone plays. She's gotten off to an excellent start and in turn, so have the Mustangs. Vetter corkscrewing her way to the rim, tricky attempt. And she'll shoot two as Marquad picks up her first foul. Sacred Heart foul on number 21. Lauren Marquad is her first, team first. Shooting two for Our Lady of Mercy, Corinne. Excuse me, it's Corinne Cassatley who got to the line. Cassatley, the senior guard, averages nine points per game. Plays with a lot of pace, as you see there. Just maneuvering her body to bait the foul from Marquardt. And cuts the lead in half. Marquardt nearly traveled. Elwood using the offhand to fend off the defender. And then tying her up is Megan Anderson. Possession arrow will give the ball to the Mustangs. Slipped in to Anderson. Quick move to tie this game up. The Fairfield commit dealing with double and triple teams has had to learn how to operate quickly as Throne and Kiernan not on the same page. Anderson had it blocked right back to her. That's a fantastic bit of defensive basketball from Throne. Got all ball and Anderson had nothing to do but catch it out of bounds. Go through, Haley. Look for the ball, Lauren. Pointer. Look for the ball. Slide it in. Kiernan, Elwood, triple, short. Stop the ball on top. Stop it up there. 
Anderson through the car wash, can't get the layup to go. Elwood head up. Stopped for Kiernan, left it short. Time, space, and a triple goes down for Haley Elwood. It's one of the quirks of playing on a college court. You gotta be careful. You're actually taking a high school three intended for girls basketball. It's the baby blue line for the high school girls. The dark blue line is high school boys. The white line is the college line. Three ball, air mailed from Emma Kelly. Zipped up ahead, long two, well short from Mary-Kate Sussman. Murphy dispossessed, but traveled before she lost it. The Mustangs playing an excellent defensive game so far. Elwood nearly had it knocked away, diving for it. It's Cassatley, and on the tie-up, possession will stay with Our Lady of Mercy, or excuse me, with the Mustangs. Contested shot from Mary-Kate Sussman. And Sacred Heart will keep the basketball. We're right next to it. There's great energy on the Sacred Heart bench right now. We're very, very encouraging to the players on the floors. We have our first substitution. It's Sabrina Boyle coming into the game as Corinne Cassatley takes a seat. Might have hurt her lip. Kiernan, tough shot. Better speeds to the rim. Triple deposited for Emma Murphy. She's the best in the Catholic League at just that. At least on Long Island. 60 plus threes on the year. Take a look, Haley. Look at it. Kiernan. Swing to the opposite side. Frone just misses. Anderson, three defenders crash down, leveraging the attention, a wide open shot for Kelly. That's her second air ball. As Emma Kelly, the senior guard, tries to find the range. And Sacred Heart is making their intentions defensively very clear. They are gonna dare Kelly and essentially all the, the secondary offensive players for Our Lady of Mercy to beat them. The one girl they will not leave is Emma Murphy, at least intentionally. Blocked away by Anderson. Good use of her length. The Fairfield commit leads the break. Good idea, poor execution. Trying to find Sabrina Boyle as the Mustangs make their first up. Uh, Colleen Thieke into the game and taking a seat is Mary-Kate Sussman. Colleen Thieke, a sophomore forward. Swing it, swing it! Tough shot. And good bit of defending there from Emma Kelly to get a piece of the basketball. Ball lobbed in, deflected around, and a tie-up. And this time, possession arrow gives the ball to Our Lady of Mercy. Casalti. Anderson, the pump and go. Slips it to Kelly. Kelly lost it. Tie up under the rim. And Sacred Heart will have the basketball right back. Good job there from Emma Frone, who has played an excellent two-way game so far. Four quick points. And two forced turnovers. Go, Cutland, you got 
Little high-low action. As Marquardt is off the mark. Rebound chased down from Vetter. Casalti back into the game. Leaves it off. And overcooked that time from Emma Murphy. Pass zipped up. What a look. Kiernan clearing out room, but can't finish. Excellent pass that time from Elwood. Kiernan another try at it. Diving on the floor with Anderson. And both these teams playing so incredibly hard with their season on the line. We've already had about four tie-ups. Murphy, Elwood running away with it. Three on one, Elwood pulling out her do-it-yourself book and doing just that. Haley Elwood up to five. Vetter from college range. And Elwood corrals the board. Frone slips it in. Great pace from Sacred Heart, but the shot off the mark for Thiek. Anderson triple teamed. And better off the mark from distance. Kelly can't hit at the horn. So after eight minutes, a defensive battle, nine to seven lead for Sacred Heart here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Thank you for joining us on the Varsity Media Sports Network. If this is your first time joining us on the Varsity Media Sports Network, well, you better subscribe because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming sportscasts. Full coverage of the New York City Catholic League High School playoffs, the Catholic High School State Championships, where you'll see all the winners from today's games compete. And you can subscribe at youtube.com slash varsity media or follow us on any form of social media known to mankind, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, of course, the big three. And the handle is always at varsity media. And be sure to hit that notifications bell. So once you subscribe, you don't miss a game. Three two zone for Our Lady of Mercy. Thanks to uh, intern color commentator Bob Steck for pointing that out. Take a look, Over the top. Over the the top. Sacred Heart pivoting into their zone offense. Opposite. Tiernan will fire, leave it short. Well contested from Kasatli. Feels like Sacred Heart clearly got the better of the play in the first quarter. But the game very much there for the taking for Our Lady of Mercy, and they tie it up here on a long two from Kasatli. Oh, no, apparently a three ball. So five points for Corinne Kasatli. Guess her foot was just past the line. And just like that, our Lady of Mercy has regained the lead. Or actually, I think that's their first lead. Oh, now it's adjusted to a two-pointer. Maggie Miller in for the first time. Mary-Kate Sussman taking a seat. Miller, a freshman point guard out of Port Washington, wearing number 12. Wing it. 
College three for Elwood. Batted around. Kiernan has it back. Kiernan's been off on her jumper and that continues. Stolen away by Anderson. Anderson trying to burrow inside. Tricky shot. Anderson just a one for three start. Poked away by Anderson. And this should be a gimme for the senior. She's up to four. And now Our Lady of Mercy has their first lead. Sacred Heart desperately needs the jump shots to start falling. Go throw. Go throw. Elwood Get up. leaves it short. Stop the ball. Find your men. Sacred Heart is essentially stopped. Challenging Our Lady of Mercy on the interior. Anderson from range, got it. Megan Anderson heating up, five straight points. Little give and go. Marquad blocked away by Anderson. Deflected out to Kiernan who was fouled. First of the game against Corinne Casatley. As Colleen Thiek will come out and Throne will check on in. Or excuse me, Lauren Marquad coming out of the game for the first time. Elwood cut off from the rim. Time and space, but no result for Throne. And a foul going for the offensive rebound goes against Annie Kiernan, her first. And the team's first of the second quarter. And the Mustangs look to add to a game high, five point advantage. College range, but no good that time for Anderson. Kiernan, not shy, but still not hitting. Kiernan about 0 for 6 so far. Elwood well contained. Kiernan went right through Anderson. Third try, no good for Miller. Tipped out of bounds off of Elwood. And Mary-Kate Sussman will give Colleen Thiek a breather. Diving to the baskets, Anderson, who now has scored seven points in a row. And a timeout for Sacred Heart. Megan Anderson heating up here at Hofstra. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Spot in the New York State Catholic Tournament on the line between the Mustangs and Spartans. Our Lady of Mercy, they want another shot at St. Anthony's and they might just get it. A 16 to nine lead. 
in the midst of a 9-0 run, and Megan Anderson has scored seven in a row. This game is brought to you by Catholic Health, our Catholic Health Game of the Week here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Anderson's greatest skill is her efficiency, shooting 50% from the floor, 44% from three-point range this season. Right in the mix for the best player in the NAS, in the, excuse me, in the NSCHSAA. Frone has it poked away. Vetter came out of nowhere. Almost a rattlesnake-esque movement from Vetter. Eight seconds on the shot clock. A little under four to go in the second quarter. You're watching a Catholic New York State qualifying game. The winner of the Catholic tournament will eventually make their way to the New York State Federation tournament. Diving to the rim is Anderson. Kick out to Kelly. Unselfish extra pass to Vetter. It gave Sacred Heart time to recover. And walking with the basketball is Vetter. Sacred Heart continues to play really well, all things considered, defensively. They just have to hit some shots as Marquardt, after a brief break, spells the freshman Maggie Miller. Anderson. Stole it away, but out of bounds off of her. Sussman leaves it for Kiernan. Kiernan. Draws the foul. Goes against Emma Murphy for her first foul. Kiernan is yet to make a field goal, still looking for her first points. The senior forward averages 16 points and eight boards a game. And so Bob Stack seeking clarification because he wanted that foul to be on Megan Anderson, who was the one guarding Kiernan. As Kiernan continues a, a rough start to her day. And what's potentially the last game of her fantastic career for Sacred Heart. Back door, Kiernan there to contest. And a player down for Our Lady of Mercy, but now getting up seems to be all right is Emma Murphy. Two team fouls apiece, so no free throws just yet. So second foul against Annie Kiernan. Better has some good speed. And solid rebound that time from Marquad. That's her best skill. Marquad diving to the basket. Creating some room with her hip. And then putting in the layup. A much needed point for the Mustangs. Their first bucket of the second quarter comes with two minutes and 20 seconds left. Anderson spins away from the double team, but nowhere to go. Cut off well by Frone that time. And Frone, great box out. And we'll get the ball back for Sacred Heart. Do yourself a favor, just watch number 13, Emma Frone, for a full defensive possession. She is so, so good on that end of the floor. And I don't think it's a coincidence. Megan Anderson had her best stretch, I believe, when Frone was off the floor. Kiernan still can't buy one. 
frustrating afternoon for the star senior continues on. Anderson doubled. Leaves it off. And unable to pay it off as Murphy. Did a good job making herself available, but couldn't hit the shot. And now Elwood picks up her first foul. With 128 to go in the opening quarter. Pass lobbed in. Vetter leaves it off. Three ball. Can't be bought for Vetter. Turnaround jumper. Missed that time by Anderson. Elwood to the rim. And one for Haley Elwood. Sacred Heart needed it. Incredible finish from Elwood. Off balance. Just able to flip it over her shoulder with that left hand. And now Elwood has eight points. Picking up for the, her teammates. She averages just 10 per game on the season. Minute to go in the first half. We got ourselves a ball game. As Anderson finds the quick response. Anderson, first player on either team into double figures with 11 points. Elwood lines it up, cashes it in. Haley Elwood has 11 points herself. Matching Megan Anderson now shot, first shot. Anderson leaves the ball for Murphy, give and go. Great slip pass from Emma Murphy with the left hand. And Megan Anderson's up to 13 points. Final three seconds of the quarter. They got a shoot at the horn. No good for Mary-Kate Sussman, but Sacred Heart will take it down by just three after trailing by as many as seven in this second quarter. We take a look at that final bucket from Our Lady of Mercy, Anderson to Murphy, right back to Anderson. That's pretty basketball for Our Lady of Murphy. They lead it by three. Two seasons on the line. Who's going to survive in advance? We'll find out next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Hi, I'm Gene Steratore, CBS Rules Analyst and longtime sports official. For the adults watching this video, you grew up in a world where officials, umpires, and referees for youth sports 
took their place regularly and reliably ahead of game time. Today, unfortunately, it's getting harder and harder to fill those jobs. Videos showing abusive treatment of officials multiply on social media, and there have been consequences for the dreadful behavior of players, fans, and coaches. Massive shortages of officials now lead to games being canceled, and the positive effects of athletic competition are at critical risk for this generation and those to come. I'm hoping we all can begin to see youth competition through a different lens. Today, mistreatment of officials has become normalized, and we are facing an abnormal future where no officials to hire means no games on the schedule. Any call, any decision, any human effect on wins and losses has become subject to not just withering criticism, but physical threats. There's a vicious cycle at work. Fans chase away officials, and there is a smaller pool to draw from, which makes it harder to get quality, well-trained people in position. The entire game suffers. Did you know, according to the National Federation of High Schools, 80% of new officials quit the game after just two seasons because of abusive behavior from the stands and sidelines? This sort of verbal abuse and threatening behavior takes a toll on all officials and makes them leave the game altogether. Did you know from 2018 to 2022, an estimated 50,000 high school referees, roughly 20% have quit. Half of the remaining referee population is at least 50 years old, but young officials are rarely staying more than three years in the job. If the number of officials working contests in all sports doesn't begin to increase, there won't be enough officials to work the games. That means schedules will get cut, teams or even sports might get canceled. In many states, this is already happening. Remember that officials are invested in what they do. Many officials have regular, full-time jobs, and they're sacrificing time away from their families. Try to demonstrate empathy. Put yourself in their position. Think how you would feel about getting yelled at throughout your workday. Yelling and arguing with officials sends the wrong message to young players. According to Play by the Rules Sports Advocacy, it teaches them that it's not okay to make a mistake. They can blame others for their actions. They can disrespect authority figures. And it's okay to be rude and selfish. You know, officials enforce rules, keep competitions fair, and make player safety a priority, allowing youth sports to be a valuable arena for growth. We can all just work together and be more empathetic to not just the officials, but everyone else in youth and high school sports. We can then preserve what many of us have embraced about athletics, and you and I know the benefits of sports, right? Let's spread that gratitude and be proud of what we can build and not blind to how it's being torn down. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. Violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. So what happens now? Your response in the heat of the moment is the only thing you totally control, and we have an experiment for you to try. Simply stated, just cheer for your child or the team you're there to support. Move that desire to lash out to a different place and encourage without rage. Your child's sporting memory should be about how you helped inspire and not about how you caused embarrassment. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. 
Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Thank you for joining us back here at Hofstra, David S. Mack Sports Complex. We got ourselves a good one, a three-point lead at the half for Our Lady of Mercy over the Mustangs of Sacred Heart. Gavin Shaw once again here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And a reminder that this game is brought to you by Catholic Health. In fact, it is our Catholic Health Game of the Week here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Heck of a first half. Megan Anderson... Got off to a relatively slow start for Our Lady of Mercy. And then the inevitable happened. She erupted for 11 of her 13 points in the first half in the second quarter. And the Fairfield commit as well on her way to the, her season average of 25 a game. What was less expected was what Haley Elwood did. We'll tell you about that in just a sec. First, we have to remind you to subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash varsity media. Or if you're already watching, and if you're hearing this, you are already watching, I can tell you. All you have to do is hit the little escape button on your key and then just scroll on down below the picture and hit subscribe. I promise it won't hurt you. In fact, it'll help you and it'll make you live forever. And you can also follow us on all forms of social media on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook at varsity media for all of them. And we will step aside for a moment. When we return the second half, we'll get underway and we'll see if Haley Elwood can continue her battle with Megan Anderson. That next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Look for a moment like Our Lady of Mercy was going to run away with this game. They had that 9-0 run to make it 16-9. And then from there, Sacred Heart responded. It was mostly Haley Elwood, who had a fantastic first half. Here she is hitting that three all the way from the men's college line. The junior point guard averages 10 points per game on the season, five assists, already up to 11 points in this game. And Sacred Heart, in that sense, has to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Remember, the, the only game they played this year when both teams were at full strength it was a, a pretty dominant effort from Our Lady of Mercy, a 56 to 41 ball game. They played a second time. It was one of the last games of the regular season. It was the last game of the regular season on February 21st. It was a 50 to 21 win for Sacred Heart, but score not really representative of the two teams given that Our Lady of Mercy sat all their starters after the first quarter of the ball game. So this is the Mustangs real first crack at Our Lady of Mercy at full strength and they're down by just three. Megan Anderson did what Megan Anderson does and for Sacred Heart the variance that could push them over the top in this one that Annie Kiernan shot about 0 for 8 in that first half did not score and she averages 16 points per game so it's a, it's a good bet and she's going to make some shots in the second half as Our Lady of Mercy starts Half number two with the basketball in the hands of Megan Anderson. Anderson, step back, Trey. Ball tipped around and recovered, but overcomplicating the layup that time was Brooke Vetter. But able to tip it off of Kiernan, so it'll stay with Our Lady of Mercy. Anderson cutting to the rim, tipped away by Marquette, and Elwood on the run. 
Kiernan a little reticent to shoot. Tie up. And this time the possession arrow favors Sacred Heart. Sussman into Kiernan. Kiernan lobs it out. Frone just off on the three. Anderson skying high for the board. Head up. And off the mark. Looking for Emma Kelly. Elwood double teamed and throws it right into the waiting hands of Corinne Kasatli. Charge, Lauren! Kiernan can't grab the ball. Grab it. Anderson somehow snuck it through a double team and it's paid off with the righty finish on the left side by Brooke Vetter. Such a savvy play by Vetter, seeing Anderson was in trouble, so much attention focused on her, cut right to the basket. And didn't wait for the ball to get to her as Elwood tries one from NBA range. Batted around and into the waiting hands of Sussman. Swing, swing, and a triple on the way for Kiernan for her first three of the game. Emma Frohn keeping the play alive. Anderson fouled by Marquette. The second foul against Marquard. Anderson, an exceptionally unselfish player. He's taken on double and triple teams all season and has built up a real composure in those situations. Kiernan step back two. Well contested by Anderson. Anderson to the corner. Three ball cashed in for Corinne Kasatli, her second of the game. Lining it up is Frone. And Sacred Heart, outside of Elwood, continues to struggle from three-point range. And on jump shooting in general, Anderson not struggling getting to the rim. The senior has 15 and baits the timeout from Bob Steck. Seven-point lead once again for Our Lady of Mercy, trying to move on in the Catholic State Basketball Tournament. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Seven-point lead for the Mustangs. There's Elwood. Pressured out to half court by Kasatli. And throws the basketball away. Oh no, Frone able to hustle it down and save it. Vetter plays with a great pace. Proverbial gnat. Buzzing around everything Sacred Heart tries to do. Oh, oh. 
Crone had it for a sec. Anderson tied her up. It'll be Our Lady of Mercy ball via the possession era. Nice screen from Anderson. But Murphy unable to squeeze that pass in. Power, power. Now face it, face it, face it. Vetter just all over the passing lanes. And Randy Todd urgently takes a timeout with 4.15 to go in the third quarter. A seven point advantage for Our Lady of Mercy. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. State qualifier game, our championship game coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network between St. Anthony's and Our Lady of Mercy. Loser of that one will play the winner of this one to move on in the New York State Tournament. The double elimination system. Shot clock dwindling down to one and the shot not attempted in time from Marquardt. Sadly, not on the same page with Murphy on that DHO. Kiernan, tough shot. Her height, though, lets her get it off and hit it. Is it a two or a three? It's a two for Annie Kiernan. So the senior held scoreless in the first half, now up to five points. Inside, outside. Kelly missed two from distance in the first half. Reticent to try again. And a moving screen called against Emma Kelly for her first foul. Marquardt using the elbow. Emma Murphy clapping her hands. Happy to take the hit. Another offensive foul, second in a row against Our Lady of Mercy. Third in a row we've got between the two teams. Karinkis Atley second. Dribble drive for Thiek. Batted around right back to Thiek. Kick at the second try to go either. Still loose ball. 
And now it'll go to Our Lady of Mercy. Second half as the whole game has been continues to be a defensive battle. Timeout taken by the Mustangs. And we wanted to remind you of our next sports cast right here from this court at St. Anthony's against St. Mary's. St. Mary's undefeated in conference play. St. Anthony's who lost to them by 27 points earlier this season, will try to end that. A very young team for the Friars. They made a lot of progress throughout the year. We'll see just how much coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And St. Anthony's and Chaminade on the boys' end of things will cap off the night at 7 o'clock. Should be a heck of a matchup. Chaminade knocking off St. Anthony's twice during the regular season. One very good game between the two teams. One game that was not so good. But the emergence of football star KJ, Stuff, KJ Duff on the basketball court for the Friars has certainly changed the dynamic of their team and potentially the dynamic of that matchup. Chaminade, one of the better three-point shooting teams in the Catholic League in recent memory. But Duff and the Friars will try and beat them with pure unfiltered physicality. Ball flying around for Our Lady of Mercy. Vetter to the rim. Acrobatic for her second bucket. Vetter is really good. And walking with the basketball that time is thrown. Just five points scored in this third quarter so far for Sacred Heart. So they've done a much better job on Megan Anderson, who has just one bucket. A great anticipation that time from Feek. Feek, coast to coast, pays it off with a lay for her first two points. Anderson elevates, can't hit. Batted out of bounds, and possession will stay with Our Lady of Mercy. Get your hands up. Annie, higher. Higher, Annie, higher, Annie, higher. Deny it, Emma. Emma, help Annie. Popping free is Murphy. Cans the triple. Second three of the game for Emma Murphy. Sussman, Kiernan can't find the response. An unintentional whistle that time, so nothing to do about it. Our Lady of Mercy will inbound. Vetter looking for her first three. Go. Go. Foul slipping to the ground that time on Emma Murphy. Murphy's second foul. Elwood held scoreless in this third quarter. Draws two defenders here. Kiernan on the ground with Anderson. Stolen away. Vetter ahead to Kasatli. Kasatli stripped at the rim but fouled. Sorry, first, the team starter. 
shooting for Rick Casale. Casatley leaves the free throw short. Put back up and in from Megan Anderson. And that feels like a monumental play in this ball game. You had the opportunity to end the third quarter down by just eight. Instead, 10 with an opportunity to add one more. Anderson up to 18 points. And Our Lady of Mercy has a game high, 11 point lead. Final two seconds, Elwood not gonna get off a shot in time. So a lot of work to do for Sacred Heart. Our Lady of Mercy, they want another chance at one of St. Anthony's or St. Mary's. We'll find out if they get it. Eight minutes to go here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Potentially the final eight minutes of either of these team season. And if, if you like the drama of this game, well, you better tune in for all the other ones because things only heat up on Varsity Media Sports Network's coverage of the New York State Catholic basketball playoffs. And you can subscribe at youtube.com slash Varsity Media or follow us on all forms of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Varsity Media. As you're watching the Catholic Health Game of the Week, between the Sacred Heart Spartans and the Our Lady of Mercy Mustangs. 11 point lead and it's been a lot of Megan Anderson held in check for most of the third quarter. Had the opening layup, didn't score again for about seven and a half minutes. And then had that crash offensive rebound and one. It might have shifted the trajectory of this one. Kiernan burrowing her way inside, but can't finish. Goes right into the body of Anderson. Anderson, call for the foul. And apparently Anderson was clean on that play. It was Emma Murphy picking up the foul. And Murphy the one who took the brunt of the blow, getting checked on. Telling Randy Todd she's A-OK. -okay. Or at least good enough to not want to leave the court for what could be the final eight minutes of her illustrious high school career. Kiernan up to seven. Spartans extending their pressure. Bob Steck noting they don't press much. They don't have a lot of speed as a team. Anderson can't get the pull up to go. Kiernan corrals the board. Elwood speeding in. Lefty finish for Haley Elwood. The junior's first points of the second half. Anderson over two defenders. Why not? 
It's a great player making a great shot. Senior forward has 20 points. Elwood lost the basketball. Timeout taken by Our Lady of Mercy. 6.33 to go. Nine point lead for the Mustangs over the Spartans here at Hofstra. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Nine-point ball game, a look inside Bob Steck's huddle. Steck in just his second season leading the Spartans. And it, it, it's been a pleasure getting to be by the Sacred Heart bench throughout the sportscast. Steck does such a good job. I mean, just managing personalities, staying positive, giving direction. Leading Sacred Heart to one of their better seasons in recent memory this year. Murphy lobs the ball in. Too far for Anderson. Too far for anyone as it was out of bounds. Vetter doing a nice job containing Elwood. Elwood leaves it. Feek. Long rebound out to Sussman. Anderson through a sea of red. Too much heat on that pass to Gasatli. Could take that time from Throne. Using the backboard as a shield. Better utilizing the screen. Anderson staring down Kiernan. Triple on the line and cashed in for Emma Murphy. Murphy has nine points all coming on threes. Bob Steck wants to talk. His Spartans are in trouble. Down by 10 with five minutes to go. And we'll keep it right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. 10 point lead for Our Lady of Mercy. Done a great job setting up three pointers to Emma Murphy, who such an innate sense of how to Playoff Megan Anderson. We want to remind you, if you want to bring your games to life, you can do so with Varsity Media Sportscast. We feature announcers, multiple cameras, instant replay graphics. It's great for rivalry games, senior day, and general promotion of your teams. You can contact us to book a sportscast at 516-403-2050 or visit varsitymedia.net. And there's Anderson in... She drew the dig that time from Mary-Kate Sussman, and that gave Murphy just enough room to get off that three. So Murphy, again, leading the Nassau branch of the Catholic League in threes made. And a lot of them coming via Megan Anderson assists. They've been a deadly duo 
all season long. And that's, that's kind of what you have to do as a, as a role player, is figuring out the best way to meld your talents to your star player. And Anderson and Murphy have exactly that symbiotic relationship. Deke off on the pull-up. Timeout taken by Randy Todd as he saw Murphy dribbling himself into, dribbling herself, that is, into a quarter. And we'll step aside a 10-point lead for Our Lady of Mercy. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Look inside Randy Todd's huddle in his seventh season as the head coach of Our Lady of Mercy, his 17th season overall at the school. Again, just, just brutal circumstances. I mean, his, his best team in a few years missing the semifinal loss to St. Anthony's, but the Mustangs with 4.46 to go in great position to get another chance at either the Friars or maybe a chance to take on St. Mary's depending on the result of the championship game. It's a double elimination format, so you win this one, you are back in the mix of things. Anderson leaves it off. Initially looked like a great recovery for Mark Ward. But apparently did not get there in time. Fourth foul against Marquad. Given the time and score, you'd expect her to just stay in the game and hopefully not pick up a fifth. Emma, Emma, Emma. Emma Kelly sacrificed a lot for this team this season. Nominally a guard, but has had to defend bigger players given their relative lack of size around Anderson. Ball stolen away. Streaking to the rim is Vetter. Brooke Vetter, an excellent finisher at the basket. And the lead out to a game high, 13 points. Time running out on the Spartans. Elwood tripped up. Foul goes against Vetter. Vetter's first. Kiernan, that's a deep ball. Kiernan. Around one for eight from distance in this ball game. He's had to take a lot of high pressure shots. Six feet tall with that high release so she can get them off, but they've all been well defended. Our Lady of Mercy understanding the scouting report on Annie Kieran. Anderson gets it to go. That might be the dagger with three and a half minutes left. Anderson's up to 23 points on the game. And gets the block on the other end. Anderson wanted another one, but instead, Annie Kiernan will head to the line. Give Kiernan credit. I mean, again, not having her best day. She is typically a fantastic shooter. She's at 45 threes on the year, but she continues to battle under the basket. An inside-outside game that profiles well to the next level of Kiernan. 
decides to pursue college basketball. Kiernan up to nine points in the second half. Murphy walked with the basketball. Edward right by Vetter. But nice verticality at the rim from Emma Murphy. Thrown through a double team. Anderson got a piece of it for her third block of this ball game. Elwood seemingly intentionally fouling Kelly that time. Or rather Murphy. Just to get the substitution. Sussman out. Feek in. Anderson doubled on the inbound. And stolen away. Marquard racing to the rim. Fouled on her way there. Goes against Kasatli for her third. Diving to save the basketball is Feek. And into the bonus are the Spartans. If there are any latent hopes of a comeback, that's going to be key. They can stop the clock on any foul and get free throws. Feek, a sophomore forward out of Wontaw, defensive specialist, does a good job altering the pace with her speed. A star lacrosse player and plays like it on the basketball court. Marquard had it for a moment but can't save the basketball. Making the call very easy that time on official Carl Small. Kasatli doubled. Anderson head up. Vetter not urgent to get a shot off, I'm sure. Coach Todd echoing that sentiment to his team. Anderson winding to the basket. She'll shoot two. Third foul against Kiernan. Another look. Kiernan just pure power and then really doing a nice job leveraging her length. Taking that layup a little further than you typically want, but she's so long, still able to get her hand right to the rim. And Anderson matches her season average at 25 points. Throne still can't hit her first three. Marquard out of the game potentially for the last time in her fantastic Sacred Heart career. Marquard, similar to Kiernan, didn't necessarily have her best shooting day, but battled. All game long. Balls 
And now Haley Elwood will take a seat. And Sacred Heart goes into their bench. Knocked out of bounds by Feek. With under 100 seconds to go, Randy Todd not taking any chances, keeping his starters out on the floor. Kiernan able to induce the tie up. And possession error will keep it with Our Lady of Mercy. 93 seconds left. Championship game is up next. St. Anthony's and St. Mary's. St. Mary's, the defending champs, the defending New York State champs in Class AA. Aggressive defending from Thiek. Has the fouls to spare, but her team does not as it'll send Murphy to the line. And coming on is Tiffany Williams. And coming out for the last time in her fantastic high school career is Annie Kiernan. It's a nice gesture from Bob Speck, just giving an opportunity for all the seniors to be recognized by their teammates. You gotta figure at this point, Our Lady of Mercy, just gonna take the air out of the basketball, but as long as Sacred Heart keeps pressuring, our Lady Mercy will keep playing. Anderson adding to her total. A cherry on top of a spectacular night. As Bob Speck calls for time, we'll keep it right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Look at the ball movement for Our Lady of Mercy. That's a brilliant cross-court find for Emma Murphy, returning the favor. Anderson's been setting her up all day long. Murphy said, let me get you for one. And that shot showcases, again, the, the full repertoire for Megan Anderson. She's hit three threes in this game. Went to the foul line a couple of times, finished on the interior, hit some mid-range jumpers. And Bob Steck's quote, she was the Larry Bird of girls basketball, presumably of girls Long Island High school basketball, but still proved prescient. Bob Steck taking that time out, allowing Our Lady of Mercy to get their depth into the ball game. And the ceremonial white flag has been waved by Sacred Heart. That three ball left well short from Tiffany Williams. Double team and a strip for Our Lady of Mercy. Next game should be intriguing again. Not a very competitive matchup between St. Anthony's and St. Mary's. The first time the two teams met up as there's Kate D'Alessandro getting her first bucket. Just a sophomore will be a key part of this team next year. But St. Anthony's closed the gap a bit the second time the two teams met. And it's kind of an open question was that just because St. Mary's was playing a little, a little more lacklusterly, missing a few key pieces due to injury, or was that genuine progress from St. Anthony's? The semifinal win over this St. Mary's team suggests that St. Anthony's might indeed be a different squad than the one that lost by 27 points the first time the two teams met up. It was back-to-back -back buckets. Now for D'Alessandro. And pressure applied, and the foul committed that time by Maggie Miller. Just 11 seconds left. And Lady of Mercy can simply 
dribble out the clock. In the hands of Sabrina Boyle. Pump and a shot after the buzzer. Won't matter. Our Lady of Mercy stays alive to play another day. They'll take on the loser of our next game. It's St. Anthony's and St. Mary's coming up next in a fantastic season for Bob Steck's Sacred Heart Spartan. Comes to a somber end, but a group that can certainly hold their heads high. Haley Elwood in particular, an excellent game. The junior will be back next year to lead the Spartans. But for now, for our entire team here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, executive producer Ben Turchin, technical director Chris Sweeney, cameraman Angelo Caiazio, and cameraman Ron Pierre, I'm Gavin Shaw, signing off on the Varsity Media Sports Network. <laughs>